Hi there, this is Remy Sharp, and I just wanted to show you a quick uh, demo of workflow to uh, do a bit of debugging inside of DevTools. So I came to uh, this wiki page, I wanted to grab uh, the list of all of the HTTP status codes and their number. I had a quick look at the page. Um, I can see that, that we have a DT and we have an ID 401. So if I do a quick query, uh, DT, I get a whole bunch of uh, objects. So I figure that's kind of what I'm after. Um, I just double check if jQuery is on the page, uh, was it fn.jQuery. Um, and we do have jQuery, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I've, I've just copy and pasted this bit. This is basically what I want to do. Because um, we've got our DT, where is our DT? Let's go back to that. Um, span has the ID, which is the status code. And then inside of the DT is the actual text we want to grab. So I'm doing jQuery map and I'm returning uh, code is this.findspan.id. Great. And string is this.txt. Okay, it's not very. Uh, optimized but you know does a trick so I hit enter and we run and we get ID cannot be read uh, of undefined so there's a bug somewhere in the code okay great so let's go to our sources um, let's put on uh, uh, break on error so we rerun the code and it doesn't break and that's because we don't have it, it only breaks on errors for code that's actually on the source page not in our console so what can we do to fix that um, because we want to go and debug and actually look at what this is at that point, so um, we can do oops, we can do things like this. So um, debugger, and now we're inside of the virtual machine, and uh, we can look at the call stack, which we're not that interested in. But we can look at watches, we can look at local scope. Okay, so we can actually look at uh, this and look at the element that we're currently looking at. So that has a span, but we're going to have to iterate over every one of them not that useful. So let's just um, stop breaking, uh, play through. We don't even need the break on exceptions because that does not work in this situation. And what I've done here instead is try, oops, try catch error. And here we do debugger. Now we run, we've basically broken inside of the code when there was an exception, we can see what the exception is and we can look at what this is. So we can see this is a DT that does not have a span of ID inside of it. So that's why my code is breaking. Um, but it's, uh, I think I tweeted just a few minutes ago saying I wish that the pause and exceptions would work for code inside the console. Um, but this is a way of actually getting that to work. So if you want to uh, debug inside of the uh, the console this is one way of doing it hope that's useful to someone cheers